What's going on friends? There is nothing more exciting out there than actually putting some performance parts in your Harley Davidson motorcycle. Now you've done your homework, you pick what you feel like is the absolute perfect cam that fits your needs, you get that cam installed, you get that cam chest upgraded, you put all this time and money into parts and labor to getting this motorcycle exactly what you want it to be, and then you go and get it tuned, and then you're pretty disappointed with the actual like dyno numbers and the results that came back. So what happened? What went wrong? Well, there's a couple of things that are extremely important to make sure you pair with your upgrades to ensure that you get the absolute most power possible out of your motorcycle and you're not wasting your money. As I mentioned, it's very unfortunate that a lot of times people will dump a bunch of money into their motorcycle with the camshaft, their air cleaner, their exhaust system, they get a good tune on it but the numbers just aren't where they expected them to be. Now, one thing we gotta remember is exhaust system. Exhaust system is a hugely personal choice. The issue with an exhaust system is it has to fit what the look you want, the sound you want, and it also has to meet the performance needs of what you're looking for. Now, more often than not, an exhaust system can end up being one big compromise. The exhaust system that looks good on your bike that you really like may not exactly be the one that's going to meet the performance needs and goals that you're trying to reach. Now when it comes to air cleaners, obviously any open element air cleaner is going to do you pretty well. Depending on the air cleaner's size, that really doesn't become a factor unless you're building a huge monster motor. If you're building a large displacement engine, like say a 130 cubic inch motor, this is where the air cleaner is going to become very detrimental to the engine's performance. When you get up that high, you really are in the same boat as you are with the exhaust system. The air cleaner that you really like, the style of it, may not necessarily be the right air cleaner to feed enough air to that engine. But if you're building just a mild street Harley, something that's going to have some power and performance in it that you're going to ride every day, maybe go touring on, just any good open element air cleaner will provide the engine with more than enough air to suffice for what the engine's performance needs are. Now when we're talking air cleaners, this could be maybe a one to two horsepower difference on the big end. But when we talk exhaust systems, this is the really tricky part about building your Harley. Because the exhaust system can literally mean a 10 horsepower swing either in the direction going up or the direction going down in the power that you're looking for. Now when it comes to touring motorcycles, baggers, things like that, one of the best exhaust systems that really suits the needs of those bikes for general, just good overall riding, that is going to be the True Dual system. Now, yes, you can get away with the factory Harley header, but on the touring bikes, you have to remember, they have that catalytic converter in that factory head pipe. Now, the catalytic converter in the factory head pipe, this thing's great for torque, but not so much for the horsepower on the big end. So a set of slip-ons with the catalytic converter in the head pipe, that works pretty good on touring bikes. But with a touring bike, best thing you could do is get a true dual system. Basically, you pretty much have to put a full exhaust system on it to eliminate the catalytic converter. Yes, you could go in and cut out the cat, but it does make a little bit of a difference, but I really prefer to go ahead and get a full system for those bikes. Now, your choice of mufflers, that's really up to you. Just remember that your baffle sizes are gonna make a difference. Now remember, you get a quieter baffle, this is gonna lower the horsepower on the top end, but it's gonna raise the torque. Now if you get something that's really open, like you pull your baffles out, you're not gonna have nearly as much bottom end, but on the big end, wide open, you're gonna produce more horsepower up there. Now, a true performance exhaust system for a bagger, and I know a lot of people don't like that look where you have a two into one exhaust system on a bagger, it's not a very popular look because everybody likes the dual look out the back. Yes, that two into one is about the absolute pinnacle of performance when it comes to a Harley Davidson motorcycle. And then again, a lot of people may not like the sound. Some people feel like the two into one exhaust system sounds a little muddy. But for you touring bike guys, there are some exhaust option ideas out there that actually have a dummy crossover pipe and a dummy muffler on the other side. So you really don't have to compromise on the look there if you decide to go with the dummy pipe on the other side. That right there is really a personal thing for you, honestly, because you have a dummy pipe on there that's really doing nothing more than adding unnecessary weight to the motorcycle. But once again, that's where that compromise comes in to where you don't lose that look on your bagger. Now, if you're riding a Dyna, Softail, Sportster, 
everybody really likes to go to the two into two pipes. The two into two pipes, they look good, they sound good, and honestly, they have the widest range of styling options with the two into two exhaust systems. The problem with a lot of the two into two exhaust systems is that they don't have a crossover in between like your factory exhaust system. Without that factory crossover in there, you're not equalizing the pressure between the cylinders. Now while the two into two exhaust systems really do look good on the bikes and they sound really good, they're not the best option for performance. Now I'm not trying to dog anybody's exhaust system out there, but let's throw out the Vance & Hines short shots. Don't get me wrong, I love the sound of those pipes. They are extremely loud, but they sound good with quiet baffles in them. But there is absolutely really nothing you can do to those pipes to really gain any significant horsepower. In fact, those exhaust systems will actually cost you about 10 horsepower on the big end, especially if you have a camshaft and some other good performance modifications in your bike. Now, out on the market, there is a very limited selection of two into twos that actually have a crossover. And I am a huge fan of having a crossover in the exhaust because a crossover exhaust is really the best of both worlds. You, basically, these, you have the sound and the look of the two into two system, but with that crossover, it allows both cylinders to use both pipes. And by doing that, you're basically getting the effects of a two into one exhaust system. But you have that good dual exhaust sound, but you also have, that, you also have the performance benefits of a two into one system. So those systems are really kind of a win-win. Now even on a Dyna, Softail, or Sportster, the factory header on these bikes is a lot better than you might think. We've actually seen some pretty good performance numbers just running a good quality set of slip-ons on them that don't have the catalytic converters in the mufflers. I know now there's some EPA legal slip-ons out there. If you really want to make some power, you really want to stay away from those. So I often get a lot of questions on what's the best exhaust system for my bike, and most people are looking for specifically me to recommend an exhaust system for their motorcycle. And that's hard to do because I can give you the ones that I know are gonna make the absolute most horsepower and torque given with your camshafts, your head porting, your high compression, your big bore kits. I could give you that. But the thing I can't give you is what you're gonna like. Are you gonna like the style of exhaust that produces the most horsepower? And so that really leaves you in a position to have to choose. Do I wanna get maximum horsepower and torque or am I willing to sacrifice a little bit of horsepower and torque to get what the sound and the look that I really am after? So the exhaust system on your bike is really important in more than one way. That's not just the looks and the sound. That has a major, major impact on the performance of your motorcycle. So it is very important to choose carefully. If you already have an exhaust system that you like, yeah, no problem. I'd go ahead and put the cam in there, go ahead and do all your performance work, and then dial it in and get it tuned to the exhaust system that you have and run with it. And if later on down the road you decide, you know what, maybe I can sacrifice that little bit of that look and try something different to make sure that I get the most horsepower and torque out of my bike. So guys, I wanted to make this video because I have seen so many people that come back to me like, oh, I did this cam, I did this, I did that, and these were my numbers, and this was nowhere close to what you were showing me. And I'm like, okay, I get that. What is your exhaust system? That is the first place I go. And when they tell me what they have, I'm like, okay, you're making about the most optimal power you're going to get with that system. Now, you swap that out for a two-into-one, or you go with a crossover two-into-two, you are going to see about a 10-horsepower swing going in the right direction where you would have ex expected to originally be. So guys, before you do a bunch of performance mods to your bike, really consider your exhaust system. If you don't have one yet, you're still running a stock exhaust or you got some slip-ons, you're not gonna be too disappointed with a set of slip-ons on there, but there still is room to grow from a set of slip-ons with the crossover factory header. Once again, touring bikes, even if you have a set of mufflers on there, you put a cam in there, you'll see some significant gains, but as far as the numbers go, you'd probably be a little disappointed from where you thought you might be. But anyhow guys, that is really kind of the difference on exhaust systems and what they're gonna make on your bike. Same thing with your air cleaner. Your air cleaner isn't gonna have a whole lot of effect on the bike unless you have a very large displacement engine. I'm talking probably 120 cubic inches or bigger. 
that's when you really need to start thinking about your air cleaner and making sure that air cleaner has enough surface area to provide that motor with the amount of air that it's going to need to make optimal power. Yeah, guys, that's all I've got for you this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Be safe. It is Black Friday, so if you're out riding, watch out for people. They're thinking more about shopping. Definitely not looking for motorcycles, which that's nothing new. But anyhow, guys, until next week, you guys stay safe on the streets, ride smart, dodge those cars, and I'll catch you guys back here next week with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.